Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be discussing a recent coach who made headlines in 2020. Maggie Haney was a USAG coach at MG Elite in New Jersey. She is known for coaching numerous NCAA athletes, as well as coaching Olympic gold medalist Lori Hernandez and national team member Riley McCusker. Maggie Haney was under recent allegations in the late 2010s and was officially reported to USAG and Safe Sport in 2019. In February of 2020, Haney was suspended by USAG Gymnastics for eight years. This was after a hearing panel had found that she had violated the organization's safe sport policy and code of ethical conduct. USAG stated that Haney failed to provide a safe, positive, and healthy environment with a culture of trust and empowerment. Today, we will be discussing what was actually said at the hearing panel in the aftermath of the trial. On February 3, 2020, after a month delay, a trial was conducted regarding Maggie Haney's abuse. The hearing lasted three days, which was over a two-month period, starting in February and ending in March. The hearing was presented through a form of texts, emails, letters, and public speaking by gymnasts and their families. During this hearing, gymnasts and families discussed personal allegations, claiming that Haney emotionally, verbally, and physically abused their athletes. Allegations stated that Haney screamed, sworn at, threatened, bullied, and harassed gymnasts. Many gymnasts testified, including Lori Hernandez in person and Riley McCusker through a written statement. Many families claimed at the panel that gymnasts had severe depression and anxiety because of Haney's coaching. One gymnast would be so scared that she would throw up before practices. Another gymnast stated that the abuse was so traumatizing that she dreaded going back to practice, hoping that she would be killed in a car wreck on the way to the gym. An anonymous gymnast stated that, We would go to our events after stretching and conditioning, everybody just watching for the clock tick in hopes of the day to soon be over. Another common complaint from parents showed that Haney told injured gymnasts to remove boot casts and to continue training and competing regardless of doctor's orders. Two parents spoke about this treatment, stating that they requested permanent plaster casts on their daughter's injured body parts so that it couldn't be removed by Coach Haney. When parents would speak of the allegations to Haney at the gym, it would backfire. Six gymnasts claimed that Haney warned gymnasts not to complain to parents about her coaching methods. If they did, it would result in extra conditioning work or lead to her gossiping about the parents. Lori stated herself that she would tell her mother about the conditions, and Haney would talk poorly of her mother when Wanda wasn't in the gym. Alongside Haney hindering athletes' mental and physical health, she was also responsible for verbal abuse. Lori stated that sometimes she would scream so loudly in the gym that parents could hear her from the parking lot. Parents heard Jim miss her for a glorified closet as a place they would be forced to go when Haney would yell and kick them out of the gym. They would be forced to go upstairs where Haney would refuse to coach them. One parent stated that Coach Haney yelled at her daughter when she was hesitant to do a skill. This is what she states. Oh my God, I'm going to take you and push you into the cement wall. Do the effing skill. Numerous gymnasts stated that Haney would call them uncoachable, lazy, fat, and disrespectful, stating that they were retarded or should be in a retarded group. Haney was also criticized for pulling gymnasts by their hair. One parent stated that Haney would pull gymnasts off of a beam by their hair and pull their hair out from the foam pit. One mother stated that her gymnasts fell from the high bar when trying to do a photo shoot for a leotard company. When she fell to the floor, Haney pulled the gymnast off of the floor by pulling her hair. One of the worst things she was criticized for was encouraging unhealthy eating habits and preventing girls from getting their period. Five parents stated that gymnasts hid their period because Haney told them it was proof of being fat. One gymnast was panicked when a teammate walked in to see that she had gotten her period. She begged the gymnast not to tell Haney that she had a period. Haney encouraged the athletes to severely reduce their calorie intake. She would regularly ridicule 
Lori's weight, stating that she was too boxy and needed to control her weight so that she wouldn't get fat. Some athletes like Lori now suffer from eating disorders. The panel evaluated evidence from several athletes stating that Haney engaged in severe aggressive behavior towards gymnasts. Haney was stripped of her coaching privileges and USAG membership for eight years. She is now prohibited from contacting any of the accusers and cannot attend any USAG events other than to accompany or watch her daughter compete. She can apply for reinstatement after eight years. If reinstated, she will then be on a two-year probation. Wanda Hernandez was upset and took four years for USAG to file a proper claim. She was disappointed. She stated, I'm hurting. I'm angry. We all have to do a better job of protecting our children. As a reply to Wanda's statement, USAG Federation stated that the investigation and resolution process must be faster in the future. This is regard to Wanda sending a complaint in 2016 after she had found out of the allegations after the Olympics. Parents and gymnasts left the hearing with mixed emotions regarding Haney's suspension. suspension. At the end of the hearing, Lori left puzzled, wondering if speaking against Haney was the right thing. Mary Jo Greaves, which is Olivia Greaves' mother, made a statement upset that Haney was under attack. She was stating that Olivia needed her coach since she's training for the Olympics. Mary Jo defended Haney and blame the allegations on absentee parents and attention seekers. Wanda left the hearing upset, but also hopeful for the future. Wanda hopes that Haney can change one day. I hope she can self-reflect during the eight-year suspension, because if it's more than one gymnast complaining, then it's time to look at yourself and see what needs to change. And it all starts with, hey, listen, I'm sorry I hurt you. Haney, on the other hand, was angered of her sentencing and planned to appeal the ruling because of her hearing process was fundamentally flawed on a multitude of ways. She denies that claims like Hernandez's and Riley McCusker's never happened and was furious that people like her spoke up against her. In my upcoming video, I will be showing a brief timeline of the rise and fall of MG Elite. Please join me as we discuss more of the allegations that Maggie Haney inflicted on her athletes.